telling Fox of a brand new video surfacing reportedly showing Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl held captive in Afghanistan by the Taliban for nearly five years. He could be in Pakistan now. And it could offer fresh proof he may still be alive. We're awaiting a Pentagon news conference coming up at the top of the hour where we may hear more about this. But Colonel Timothy Marsano is a spokesperson for the Bergdahl family, and he is my guest. Good to see you, Colonel. Thanks for having me, Gretchen. You know, after all these years, I can't imagine the pain <clears throat> that this family goes through wondering about the whereabouts and the safety of their son. When they see this new video, which appears to be from just this past December, what have they told you? Well, you're right. The, the last four and a half years have been an extreme roller coaster. I wouldn't wish it upon any family, uh, having been with the Bergdahls the whole time. Uh, I've seen some big up and downs. As for the video, I, I can't speak about any video. I don't know of any video. I haven't seen it myself. But uh, yesterday's news was really an opportunity for the Bergdahls to capitalize uh, and reach out through the news media to their captors, to Bo's captors, to plead for his release and also to, a message to Bo to try to stay strong for, during this ordeal. Mm -hmm. So we are just uh, showing sort of an image from this video where it's being described that he looks shaken and gaunt. But my question to you, Colonel, is what was the last indication that his family had before this that he was alive? There were several videos that came out when he was first captured in about the first year. But then last year, uh, through the uh, International Red Cross, the Bergdahl family received a letter that they can verify was from Bo, his handwriting. So that was a, a pretty big highlight in their lives. Uh, and hopefully the news of this video is true and Bo is alive and well. Mm -hmm. What impact could the failure of the Obama administration to negotiate that security deal with Hamid Karzai in Afghanistan have on the ability to get Bo's release? Because keep in mind, if the troops all come home at the end of this year, could they leave him behind? That's something I, I really can't address. I, I would recommend that the, uh, our, our, my colleagues in the Pentagon discuss that sort of thing in the State Department. Uh, what I want to talk about is the Bergdahl family, how they're doing. Uh, and it's a, as I say, it's a big, big challenge for them. Whether Bo is released at the end of this year or any time, hopefully sooner, and comes home safely to the arms of his parents, that's what we're looking to see. Mm. Uh, and the, what they've got is the support of legions of supporters, uh, not only here in Idaho, in their hometown of Haley, Idaho, but throughout the country. And that's what they're leaning on right now to, uh, to try to get them through this. And the entire country who's watching this story. As I mentioned, the Pentagon yeah. going to be having a press conference. They may speak about this in just a few minutes. <laughs> Colonel Timothy Marsano, thanks much for your time. Thanks for having me.